Outdoor Enthusiast 88 here. Just wanted to do a uh, quick unboxing and review of my new GoPro Hero 4 Silver. I actually just got this in the mail today. Um, it came with a handful of nice little accessories including a table clamp as well as some various mounts, some adhesive mounts and some uh, tripod mount setups. It also came up with a chest rig which I'm wearing right now and I'm actually shooting this whole video with a Sony action cam AS20. Some of you might have seen this in my older video. I had some test footage as well as a uh, unboxing and review of the Sony action cam. This is my first action cam um, that I actually bought out and then this is the one that I just picked up and um, I've heard the Hero 4 being about four times the price you know I definitely expect to see some really really good things out of it so um, yeah let's begin I did want to make a note before we started that the action cam that I'm wearing right now it does have the plastic housing the waterproof housing on it um, I don't have the lid on it and you'll notice there's a fisheye lens to the Sony which I from what I understand the GoPro does not have a fisheye lens so it should be a nice flat image and there's also a bunch of different settings on there that the Sony does not have but again four times the price as well as a back LCD screen for the GoPro which the Sony does not have but if you uh, I do have the lens off of the Sony and you can see if I actually I can go and put the lens on like that you'll see it's a little more muffled not too bad but I'll just leave the front lens off of the Sony action cam that way we get some better audio quality so let's begin with the unboxing so what you're gonna do go ahead and pull down on these side plastic tabs there you go now we're going to pull the box out there you have it very nice packaging you can see the Sony is almost half as large a little bit wider maybe about two-thirds as tall so they're very similar though. I think Sony is trying to compete head to head with GoPro of course. So they're trying to keep that kind of wow factor for packaging. So pull this tab all around. Ignore that. Take off the plastic plastic housing. There you go. There she is. Really small, beautiful camera too. Cannot wait to test this out. Pull this lid open. What you have is you're getting started. And now with this lid, I believe it's just adhesive on there, but you should be able to just pull it off in the back here. Again, I'm pretty new to GoPro, so I'm not really sure how a lot of this works, but there you go. Now, if I want to hear, it's actually pretty smart to keep this top part. Just rip it off. Um, it's just stuck down with maybe four sections of glue there. Just rip this top part off, which I'll do right now, because this is a great mount to have for um, do-it-yourself projects. You can mount this um, just, you know, flat on our surface, put the camera on there, mount it flat, or you can, you know, put some, uh, drill some holes in there, maybe put some glue on the back, some adhesive pads, which actually has some right now already on there, and really get it to stick down on places, so it's a good thing to keep, I mean, it's a free mount, it's a nice mount to have. Here's the camera, has this nice GoPro mount already on there, beautiful lens, there's the front display, here's the rear touch display, and this is the Hero 4 Silver Edition. Uh, the Black Edition Hero 4 is uh, is a little nicer. It actually has the 4K quality, but it doesn't have the LCD. But for what I here, you can actually buy a little LCD to stick on there. So let's see what else is in this box. Bunch of paperwork. Probably want to go register online. Some GoPro stickers. Different warranties. Safety information. Read through that. Have the box, have these little flaps that open up. All right. 
so you actually have several different types of screens, protectors for the rear. There's actually some more adhesive clamps as well as a, uh, a holder which actually goes in, in the back of the GoPro. It just slides in the back here to make this so it doesn't wiggle as much. I've actually read about those. Um, there's three screens that come with this or protectors for the back. You have the hard shell which is for like, more extreme conditions underwater, I think up to 130, uh, I believe it's 130 feet, 131 feet, 40 meters. And then you have the uh, skeleton, which is you can just touch the screen if you don't have any dirt or water or anything coming in contact. And you also have the little more, it's a flimsy uh, film that you can actually use the touch screen with. This, I think, is good up to 10 feet underwater. So it's water resistant. Uh, you probably use this most of the time. But from what I hear, it's better just to use the open skeleton because you get much better audio quality with the GoPro. This is an angled an angled mount. You can actually hook this on to a uh, maybe the side of a helmet. If you go and you put the mount on, for example, uh, say if you had this mount right here, you mount it to the side of the helmet, you go get another mount, mount this on like that, let me twist it up. I knew this. <laughs> there you go. Mount it like that. Put the GoPro on top. There you go. Perfect bird's eye view. And what else we got in here? Charging cable. A J mount. A little more swiveled. Actually the same mount that's on the harness that I'm wearing right now, the chest rig. This chest rig is phenomenal by the way. I mean look at the great you get a great perspective. Um, if I kept my hands down more, you'd probably get even more view, but for the most part, it's a really nice view of the table. I wish it wasn't nighttime, but what are we gonna do? We still got a nice lamp, I guess, to light the way. Here's your battery. What I hear is it's actually uh, partially charged for about one or two bars, so just be uh, aware of that. You will need to charge your camera, obviously, as soon as you get it, before you can really play around with it. So, let's see if I can pop this open here and then you flip that open flip that down you know it's probably smart to take the base off huh probably the best idea to really actually open this thing up the Sony actually has a flat bottom with the the camera itself the AS20 is not flat the camera itself is a little remove part, by the way. You gotta remove this tab. The Sony itself um, does not have a flat bottom; it's a rounded bottom. But the uh, waterproof case that you use to mount to everything is flat on the bottom. Man, look at this, huh? This thing is so tiny. The case looks makes it look a lot bigger than it is. This thing is crazy. Look at this. Much smaller than the Sony much smaller. That's crazy. Uh, let's see. I'm assuming you have to pull this tab somehow. I don't know. Well, that tab actually is just to pull the battery out, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so... Oh, cool. So, actually, you have a side flap here that pops right out. Covering all your, your micro USB, micro HDMI, and your micro SD slot. There you go. Yeah, look at that. It's so small. Can't get over that. <laughs> so, how to get the battery open? There's a little button you push. Push in the little button. Slide it this way. Pops open. Now, let's see if we can get this battery in correctly. There's only one way it goes in, so it's pretty easy. Spare batteries, by the way, I hear on Amazon you could buy some, uh, some off-brand batteries. Uh, you got to watch out for which brand you do buy, but you know, rather than spend an arm or leg on actual GoPro batteries, you probably want to just go ahead and try some good off-brands. I think the best seller is a twin pack with twin charger, and it's like less than 20 bucks. So just keep that in mind. You will need more batteries. I'm pretty sure these batteries only last a couple hours, especially with this LCD screen. So let's see if I know how to turn this thing on. Here, you hold the button down. Here's some beeps. There you go. Hero 4 pops up. 
the no SD 1080 wide format and there you have it there's a little LCD screen oh, I got a little lock button too kinda like similar to a smartphone so you can lock it looks like you slide from right to left choose between photo playback no SD card single burst video setup there's also a settings button on the side here scroll through your settings probably turn down that beep on this is a little loud but you might need that if you're going skiing or doing anything crazy like that underwater or anything we need it loud select the mode right on the front has the shutter on the top so yeah, let me, um, I'll play around with this some, and maybe I'll have a nicer review once I learn a little more about it. But that is the Hero 4 Silver. And what I might do, actually, is I'll probably go and do a review using the Hero 4. Um, so keep an eye out in the description for a link. And uh, hope you guys uh, like my video, and definitely uh, subscribe to my page. And thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.